dragged, it is as if we said it that if the Igbos have come to take over and all that. So the Oyibo issue is one of the reasons why our people, the Ogoni people, some of them still believe that that they are not part of Biafra or don't want to come out fully to support the struggle. Number three, the Ogoni struggle. The Ogoni nine that died in 1995, they were hanged for trying to ask for their right. And this also is one key factor in Ogoni land. They felt that they have something they are also trying to get. And for this reason, whether or not they are doing it, they feel they needed a separate state. And um, this is one of the reasons. And they have also you know, accused our leader that each time he talks about Kensaro Winwa or the Ogoni Nine, that he berates them and you know, like put them in a position as if they, were, they deserved to have died. And these are some of the issues raised by some of our elders. The number four, I would like our leader to, by this um, meeting also, throw light on how is it going to be finally when Biafra comes, what is the fate of the organic people? Because some are afraid that it will be another Nigeria scenario. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Lily Barry Godswell. Um, yes, can we have our leader answer that if it's clear? Thank you very much. Thank you, I'm here. Um, I will mix your, I think, uh, by the two answers I'll provide, they will have taken care of the four questions that, that you asked, um, Godswell. Um, I know. I respect your diligence. I like the work that you're doing. And um, the work that I believe that the Ogodi Nation will do in Biafra in years to come. Uh, My please, do, do bear with me. Um, the thing is this. Let me start with Obiwo. What was the name before it was changed to Oyibo? The name was Obi Iwo. That's the name. But a, a, a small, tiny piece of land, uh, why would anybody say that a small, tiny piece of land is the reason why they don't want to seek their freedom? I find it astonishing. A small, tiny piece of land, that doesn't mean anything. That is more important than all the pollution happening around us. Well, I have said this before, allow me to repeat. I want everybody I want every nationality within Biafra to be on their own. And when people talk about Ogoni, this is one thing that I don't quite understand. I don't know how white people did this thing to us. A white man came into our land, divided us so much that we do not know who we are anymore. Ogoni cannot live in isolation. Every clan, where we come from, Arochibu is a clan of people. Do you understand me? We have clans all over the place, the Oru people, these people that came from Igodomigodo to settle in the present day Ihiala, they are a clan of their own. Ibuku is a clan of their own. Nobody is saying that they are separate. No man can be an island. You didn't fall from heaven. You must have come from somewhere. I was the people going about looking for my relatives. This work we are doing now, or that culminated in what we are having today, I started this work as far back as 1997 to unite our people. 97, 98, 92, unite our people. Because I know who my relatives are. If you're my relative, why wouldn't you be comfortable being with me? That is the, the same thing that used to happen. If you see this thing that you're saying about uh, people having this fear about evil domination, do you know that where we come from, I'm from so-called Abia State. Let me use it for the purpose of this very meeting. Do you know that in Abia State, in those days, they used to say Anambra people are the problem, they will dominate us. If we get Biafra tomorrow, Anambra will dominate. You go to Enugu, that was the same argument that CCNO was making. 
if we are free, then uh, an umbrella would have made that. He was saying, Why, what people will suffer? Mm. It's something that they were having with the Ghana people. I don't like it. We are one people. But that doesn't mean we are going to run down anybody's culture or way of life. If you go to Abreba, Abreba, Ejagam, Abreba, and Ejagam, people are the same thing. One people. A white man came, he used Willings Commission, they used their boundary commission to cut us into pieces. Where, where was I was going to college, oh, my, my alma mater, we went to the same school. We are one people. But sometimes we allow minor things to get into our way of reasoning. We allow meaningless inferiority complex to overtake us. I am from, so to, call, so to say, Abia State today. I don't think there is any Anam Brahman or woman who doesn't believe in my leadership. But many years ago, people would say, oh, if you're not from Anambra, nobody will follow you. Only them wants to do. That is all rubbish. I don't believe in it. Obibo is nothing. If relocating the whole place in Obibo to another land to make our people become part of the Afro, then so be it. All those things are meaningless. We all want to be free. To grow our economy, to live in a land we're all going to be very proud of. I said it during my brief broadcast a while ago. Anytime that somebody tells you an Igbo man wants to suppress you, that person is your enemy. We believe in autonomous community. I'm not saying there are no horrible, of course there are horrible people. People have come out to say before, oh, uh, uh, only an umbrella can rule. Is this stopping us from doing what we are doing? People are bound to have their own opinion. And the fate of Ogoni people within Biafra is very simple. If Ogoni wants to exist as a separate entity on their own, they are more than welcome to do so. If they want to look for their people, their flesh and blood, then they are more than welcome to do so. But everybody is going to be free in Biafra. We are going to take freedom to the grassroots. Languages we present, everything, nobody... Is, I have said before, we are going to have independent nations within Biafra. Mm -hmm. Because I want to speak your language. I don't want anybody to, I don't want to force anyone to speak about, I mean, I love you, your language. I don't want anybody to, 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 to I don't want to your language to go into extinction. I don't want to go the language to go into extinction. I want all these languages to be respected. I want their culture to be respected. We are going to do something unique that will astonish the white man. The white man came to try to make us, you know, a mold and identity for us. And that is very, very wrong. I do not disparage the Ogoni now, and I actually went to see Mite. I think that's one of the, the one of them, the one that survived. I went to his office to see him in the year 1998. His office is used to be around Niger Street. Me, myself, I went there to see him face to face personally. Yeah. To preach yeah, to him what I'm preaching to you today. Mite, his name is Mite, the lawyer. He knows me, I went to see him. And we're communicating for very many years until we lost communication. The only guarantee you need in Biafra is the constitution of Biafra. And that very constitution, the right of every individual and clan, should they wish to go or the separate ways they find. In our new constitution of Biafra, anybody who wants to leave Biafra and be on their own is more than welcome to do so. Every nationality within Biafra will have their own national anthem and their own flag their own identity will be respected. Our police are not going to carry any guns. The army cannot invade anywhere on somebody's authority. So we're not going to run a totalitarian state. So nobody has anything to be afraid of. I respect cancer. We were, I respect what he fought for in the end. All I tried to point out and to fault was the beginning. If we were together as one family, do you think we have killed him? Of course not. That is why division is not good, especially within a family. The reason why I don't want Nigeria to stand is because we are not one people. You must understand this. We are not the same people. I want everybody to be on their own. And as for Udi, what I want to, when I talk about cancer, I want to teach, I want to lecture our people that the only person who can defend you is your brother. And this is what I wanted to preach on that very day. You came to my house, arrangements were made for me to go to Goniland, but it wasn't possible. Because I was attacked on my way to Gonilla. If not, I will come before the elders to preach something that I'm preaching to you now. We have to be one. When we go and get freedom, then we can go our separate ways if we want. But to tell me that an Igbo man will travel from Igbo land and go to Gonilla to tell them what to do when the Africa comes is rubbish, won't come. Cannot happen. I won't allow it. 
An evil man cannot go to it together if he together wants to be on their own, they be on their own. Nobody can force anybody to do anything. All these things will be in our constitution, and everybody will get the right to vote according to clan. Every clan will vote to join. If we're going to vote and say they don't want to join Biafra, I wish them all the best with Fulani Janjawi. But if they come with Biafra, I know the type of future that awaits them. <laughs> Thank you very much. You may attend, sir. Yeah. Um, Thank you, sir. We, I, we are going to take um, another question from um, our comrade, Comrade Marlin. Please, Comrade Marlin, you can ask your question. Thank you very much. Sir, you can unmute your mic and um, ask your question. Comrade Mali, unmute your mic. Uh, good evening, my director, able uh, leader. May the Lord guide you to the end of the struggle. And may he strengthen all the people involved to the end of the struggle in achieving the Biafran Confederate Republic. I am Comrade Malin Tumobwe by Nimewario, shortly called Tumbo Nimewario, a Nembe man from Nembe local government by Alsa states. That is Biafra territory from where the name Biafra was introduced by the king of Nembe, who discussed it with Ojuku before he gathered the Zon elders and they asked Francis Franco Pigo to officially drop the name Biafra in the Eastern Traditional Consultative Assembly meeting. So I am rightly from the source soil. Mingiten of Nembe was the king that first discussed the name Biafra with Ojuku even though it was given to the territory from Ghana to Senegal and other areas by the Portuguese. Now, I haven't said so. I also visited our, our director on the 8th of August 2017 before he was attacked on the 14th of September. I want to thank you for all that you have done. Now, my question. I observe that something is going wrong in Bielsa states not with the coordinator, but the volunteer side of Bielsa. The coordinator of, I mean, the commander of the volunteer in Bielsa State is said to be Baratwai Pre Onfre Charles from Nembe and Tuan in Brass local government. Sorry, please. I think we lost him, uh, the moderators, um, to go ahead and um, bring in another person uh, uh, so that we can have um, fresh people because we still have a lot of people backstage who are waiting we have some of our kings who asked to be brought in due to technical issues they said they would like to come in through normal call so uh because some of our, our elders are not digital so um, I think um, that would be a best um, option. Okay, Asao, could you possibly bring in um, one of the traditional rulers so they could um, ask their question? I think Comrade Merlin is, is back. Please, um, Comrade Merlin. So they actually don't hear me. It's like they didn't hear me. Well. We can hear you. We can hear you, um, Asawa. Please, you can continue with your question. You have two minutes. Like we are not hearing. Or... Can you hear me now? We are not hearing. Uh, 
Asawa Marlene, can you hear me now? Okay, um, Asawa Eagle, can we have somebody else? You could, um, maybe he could go out and come back in because I think his network is quite poor. Can you hear? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, please go ahead. Can you hear me? Can we can you hear, hear me? you clearly, sir. El go ahead. Elder Abbas, can, you, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. We hear you. Abba. Abba. Abba speaking. Uh, okay, uh, can I go on? So, uncle. Okay. Uh, can Elder Abba go on? I have his royal highness here. I have his royal highness here. Um, please, sir, um, introduce yourself and, um, and, um, Go ahead with your questions, but you have three minutes, sir. Uh, I want it that. <laughs> from and uh, what is the guarantee of the safety of the Santana? That is my question. My contribution, where the Santana in the two south needs uh, security, adequate security. You yeah, know anything about it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need uh, security. People to work effectively, like the uh, battery van and arms and ammunition to secure the land of Afra. Thank you. Oh, um, my leader, you can hear the question very well. I can hear the question. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah, he can hear you. Oh, very good, very good, because the, the, uh, the video is frozen. Um, His Royal Highness, I am humbled, sir, because of your position, your eminence, you, you abandoned all of that to come to speak to us. And I'm very grateful to you, sir. I'm very grateful to you. I'm humbled to be talking to you. We are going to secure everywhere in Biafra land once we get enough people from that locality. You know that because of what the enemies planted within us for many, many years ago, if we move in ESN made up of predominantly uh, uh, Igbo officers with arms and ammunition into a particular area, they will say we have come to take them over. Punch newspaper will write the next day or nation that we have come to take over a place that are Igbos running around here. So that is why we need local people. Once they are up to 50, only 50 local people, that will then enable us to come in to be able to provide every logistics because we are all we are trying to provide is backup. But the bulk of the work is going to be done by the local people. So once we have local people, we'll move men and material into that very area to secure it. And we'll drive the Fulanese away. It's what we've been doing, and we'll continue to do it. We don't want to leave any part of Biafra, land, but we need local people. We need. Lo I'm very glad that you, as a traditional ruler, is making this request or saying this, because we don't want to leave any part of Biafra land for these people to, to control. As I said before, which I'll keep um, repeating until the season is that what we are fighting for is freedom for everybody, not for one person to lord it over another person. And our constitution, the constitution of Biafra, which will be the best in the whole world, will make it very clear. The rights and the freedoms to be enjoyed by every citizen and every nationality. 
must be protected. I said must be protected. So we intend to start so, implementing that now. It give us local I, people and we move men and materials into the area. Thank you very much, sir. He met uh, my lord. Um, before we take you off the screen, I wanted to drop one more question. Um, this is from the people of the grassroots. They have dropped in their questions, the ones that couldn't make it to this meeting. Um, one of such questions um, is um, thrown to you, sir, that what kind of government will um, Biafra adopt? What kind of government will we run in that? Sovereign My lord, if you didn't get that question, I would like to take it again. As our I believe uh, Mazi is not in here right now. Uh, maybe uh, the network took him out. So I believe he will, he will be back very short. And um, the question I have to be retaken again. But before then, uh, we ask us the first one. Problem you please make sure you make sure you mute your mic make sure you mute your mic um, try to be stable so that when the question is thrown to you uh, it comes to you to ask a question um, you be interrupted thank you very much I don't know if my leader is around here the leader is around here. I don't think the leader is around here. Okay, well, wait for that. Wait for that. I believe, uh, Mrs. Kuchena, please, um, is uh, my leader having any any uh, yes I'm trying to uh, contact him give me one second let me see so um uh, comrade Mali, please ask me to me, you know ask your questions if you can hear me. Um, but um, I will encourage us uh, anything. Um, he should. He's coming back in now, but he we're having trouble with the volume. Okay, I will bring you in back immediately. Our leader. Comrade Tamano, I will bring you in back. Immediately, our leader is back again, please, so that you can react on the questions from the um, grassroots, uh, whereby um, the so communities are sent to us. Uh, when we say grassroots questions, when we say grassroots questions, um, these are the questions the community have um, sent to us. So, which I believe. Um, Okay. Back again, please. The questions and uh, yeah, repeat the question. Yes. So, um, the question goes like this: Um, what kind of government will Biafra adopt? What system of government will the Biafra nation adopt? It is going to be called the Biafran system, and it's very unique. Because we come from where our father comes from, we are going to design a nation that respects the boundaries and traditions of old. In a modern, uh, the modern equivalent will be a mixture. Please, people should write this down. It's a mixture of what you have today in the United Arab Emirates, 
Okay. And also in Switzerland, mix the two together. You can now begin okay. to have another whole Now, if you go to the UAE, you hear about the United Arab Emirates, but Dubai is there. Do you understand? <laughs> Dubai is there. Which other one again is a place somebody should help you? Which other country again is part of the UAE? Wider is umbrella. Qatar. It's Qatar. Yeah, thank you very much, Qatar. And there's also another one, the one that has um, Etihad. Etihad Airlines. What's the name? Doha. Doha. Thank you. There is Doha. There is Qatar. There is um 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 uh, um Dubai. A lot of rest of them. They yeah. come together to answer United Arab Emirates. Qatar cannot stop Dubai from doing what they're doing. Dubai cannot stop Doha from doing what they're doing. In fact, they have so much competition that the three best airlines in the world are from the UAE, namely Emirates, um, Etihad, and Qatar. That is the type of nation that I want. We are people are free on their own with their unique identity, but together we have one common purpose, to defend those ideals and traditions. So so if you want to know what um, what um, uh, Biafra is going to be like, look at UAE and look at Switzerland. But the only thing is that no army, no, you will not, some people will live and die, they won't see the, the Biafran army, but it's all from the Biafran army. People, police will not carry any guns. So the prime minister of Biafra cannot send somebody and say, oh, uh, go to Goni village and conquer them. You cannot. You yeah, won't send the army to do anything without the party. In fact, you can't even yeah, try. So we are going to have something very unique. Yeah. A unique blend of what you have in UAE and what you have in Switzerland. And freedom. Freedom is the worst word. Freedom. Thank you very, very much, my lord, for that answer. Um, I believe... Uh, my comrade, um, Idudu of Yemuna, also has a question for you from the grassroots. So we are going to quickly take that before we take the next question um, from a participant he had. Over to you, um, Idudu of Yemuna. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my leader, uh, I have a question for you, although the question is not coming from me. Is from the grassroots people who happen not to be present, but they the one they're supposed to be answering. Uh, this. this, of course, you have answered in so many of your program before, but at least they want you to repeat it again. The question goes this way: Will you be president of Biafra? If you are not the president of Biafra, how will you be sure the Biafra government will not drift away from your vision of Biafra? Thank you very, very much, my leader. Thank God. I will not be because um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the same God, <laughs> Almighty yeah. in heaven, has been leading us so far. There are people like you. Some of you are very bright and brilliant. I don't care if you're 18 years of age, if you're 19. Some of you have talents that you don't even know that you have. I don't care how young you are. You know, what, the only thing I have is the ceiling yeah. on age. I'm not against um, very elderly people because we all be old one day, but all of you have unique talent. And all of you are more than capable. If you can fight the zoo, if you can stop the, if, if with the limited resources you have, you can fight the zoo to a standstill, I see no reason why um, any of you here gathered today cannot be the president or prime minister of Biafra. My job is to restore Biafra. Then how it is run, is up to you people to make it happen. I won't be. They will put in the guideline and the constitution and everything will be in place not to allow you to misbehave. Then you'll get all the support that you need. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we, we, we want to take another question from one of the comrades uh, in the screen. So, Onajite, please, uh, probably you have to make the screen a little bit uh, neutral so we can pick up the name as a handover to Comrade uh, Samuel Tonye. Thank you very much. Yes, um, we could take um, uh, our comrade A.B. Jacob, uh, Mr. Yes, A.B. Jacob. Mr. A.B. Jacob, can you ask your question? Yes, uh, good evening. Uh, can you hear me? 
Yes, loud and clear. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, good evening. My name is uh, Mr. A.B. Jacob. I am an IPOB family member based in uh, London, the United Kingdom. I am a Biafran Ijo. Uh, I'd like to welcome you, uh, our leader, Mazin Namdekanu. And uh, here is, is a op great opportunity to discuss with you, have you on this forum for the first time. Uh, you're welcome, sir. Um, here is uh, what I have to say. As you've rightly acknowledged uh, from the onset, in most of your speeches, uh, you allude to the fact that Biafra land encompasses a far wider family unit, more than people had hitherto understood as a limited perception of Biafra being for the Igbos alone. In fact, uh, you've on various occasions acknowledged our common cultural, historical, and ancestral ties. Now that, you, and besides, you've done so much uh, to sensitize the people in that light and to bring us to the fore of this uh, reality facing us today that we are not only one family, but also we are people united in a common struggle. Now, given the existential threat we face today, in the light of the onslaught by Fulani headsmen, it is right to say that this threat not only affects the Igbos, but also affects what you have rightly described as the wider Biafran family. So in a nutshell, we have the Ijaws, we have those from other parts of uh, Isoko land, Orobo land, and so on and so forth, who are also not only oath-taking members, but equally people who are contributing their dues to the Biafran cause. My question is this, and it is more or less a revisit to what has been asked previously, but it's just that it is in a slightly different context. Isn't it high time, uh, our leader, that you extend by implication and taking into account the fact that this uh, security threat has spread to the coastal regions. Isn't it time that you also extend the services of ESN to these coastal uh, uh, parts of, of Biafra land? Uh, there's no gain saying, uh, you know, if I uh, put that uh, in context. There is no gain saying people pay money, their monthly dues, yet the issue of extending security to them is suspended simply on grounds that they don't have enough men in ESN. Uh, how would you address this question? Thank you very much, um, Ebi. Um, and after this uh, conversation, I want the details. We will continue this conversation um, uh, later. We are going to send ESN to every part of the Afalan. But even if you are sending a force into an area, we need to be received. We need people on the ground to receive ESN in their domain. We don't want to be fighting the full Janja with and also fighting ourselves as well because the local, the traditional ruler will say, oh, who invited them, who asked them to come. So the fact of the matter remains, I know that there are Biafrans in, uh, all over the world paying their dues. Every part of Biafran is in IPAB. I know that for sure. And nothing will give me greater happiness than to have ESN operating. We have our volunteer command in Biosa State, for instance. Biasa Command can extend men and material to where help is needed. To be honest with you, why that is not happening is what I'm going to investigate after this very conversation this um, evening. But what you need to bear in mind is that wherever, if, the reason why I said we must continue this conversation after this, if you tell me where there are, if basically the assignment I'm giving all of us here, gathered is this. Get all the names of in all the areas that the Polanese are in that needs to be flushed out. At least I can talk to them and say to them, we are coming. 
so that we don't take them by surprise. I don't know if that answers the question. We, we want to be everywhere. We have command everywhere. We have men under arms everywhere. So it's just to deploy them to the area to start working, and I will make sure that from tomorrow we we'll begin to do that. All I need are the names of the paramount rulers so I can get their permission to say we are coming in and we are coming in to drive these people away and nothing more, nothing less. It is not about uh, Biafra at this stage because when, before Biafra will come, there will be a referendum. Everybody will be asked, if you're Isoko, we ask you, do you want Isoko to be part of Biafra? Do you want Ogoni to be part of Biafra? Do you want Izon to be part of Biafra? Do you want Afik to be part of Biafra? Um, who must ask all these questions. So if John doesn't want to be part of Biafra, all well and good, but for now, we must drive away the Fulani Janja. Would I agree with you? There are Biafrans from the cities and in, in IOQ uh, family all over the world, and we are going to prevail. Get, get me the names of the paramount leaders and yes. the movement in uh, Just, just, Just one point, sir. Can I say something? Of course you may, yes. Yes. Um, I must give you my, not only my unalloyed support, in fact, I belong to the uh, IPOB Lewisham family in London. Oh, Lewisham, okay. Lewisham family, yes. Uh, okay, why don't you go, Bianyan, is my um, coordinator. He's a very lovely man. They receive me very well. I am their secretary, and they are yes. treating me very well. I'm very happy with IPOB. Um, what I just mentioned is not your fault at all. It is not easy when you are at the helm of affairs and um, some people are not doing what they are supposed to do. You've done your best and I'm very proud of you. Unfortunately so, some people are using their, uh, you know, uh, their status uh, to not to bring, so using their status wrongly. In other words, they don't bring information to you. It's not your fault. I'll give a very good example. During the COVID crisis, you were very, very instrumental in extending your services to every part of Biafra land. Everybody knows this. So if it comes to ESN, we all know you will not mince words. You will not refrain from helping us with the required support. I will do as you said. I will go and, uh, you know, make a, a gathering of uh, as much information as I can, see areas where, uh, in uh, parts of the coastal region, where uh, there are problems with the Fulanis and where we need ESN support. You know. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'll, Thank I'll, you I'll, I'll so very much. Yes. Um, yes. Please, uh, yes. can you get um, um, details, please? Yeah. Details on the rest of it. Yes. Yes, Master okay. Ibi, if you could give your details so we can yes. move on to the next person. Yes. Thank you. Do you, do you. Is it my number you want, or you want my number? Yeah, just give 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 each other your number. That's all. Okay. All right. Um, plus four four. You know the UK code. Uh, plus four four. Uh, which can you can just type it. You just type can it. Can you type it in the person? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am not. I'm not. I'm not very good on. Uh, <laughs> although I have a phone, uh, not so much of a modern character. Where do I type it? <laughs> you will see okay. chat at the bottom of this of your screen. You see okay. there are two can, messages there. I can see chat. Yes, I can uh, see. Click on it and then type your. Okay, number. sir. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Before yeah. uh, before we yes. release our chat, because of course. Yes. Uh, yes. All right. We have a lot of people in the in yes. the. Backstage, who are willing to to be a partaker of this very program, including our yes. royal fathers, um, some of them due to shall I say, um, the, the, the 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 age, and um, I think they're they're gotten tired and something like that. Um, but we still have um, some of our people because of the network um, whereby they were unable to connect due to the network for the contraption. And um, these are uh, these are very um, important, uh, also important um, stakeholders, uh, which really you know call for this very gathering. And of course, like I uh, said earlier, of course um, the the program will still continue. 
the discussion, uh, or should I say, uh, yeah, of course, the discussion will still continue. But before then, I have a caller here, and I have uh, one of um, um, the representative here. Please, um, what is your name? Tell the world your name and um, quickly ask your question. Two minutes, please. Thank you very much. It is my pleasure. My name is Ajuruchi Ogonda Irunwa. I am from Pepao, called Rumo Grossi. Rumo Grossi is in Obiapo, local government area of Igocha State. I am from Igocha State, I am not from Liva State because Igocha is the name. My whole that's what I used to call you, and I will continue to call you because it's uh, yeah. uh, 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 I now know who I am and where I go from. The question is. They are a people. But your people brothers took so much that because of your the people of the the people of the people of the the people of the 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 if eventually the government emerges, they also want to know what's up with this situation because I know this program will not do and I have a lot to unleash. Thank you, my good director. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can the, the line was very faint for me here. Can, can somebody please kindly tell me what Chinda was saying? Summarize it okay. for me so I can hear it, please. The moderator, one of the moderators, can you summarize for me? Okay, thank you very much, sir. Um what he was saying is that um, the Ikwere people are afraid that um, if Biafra should come, that, um, that the evil, uh, of course we all are evil, that the evil we we chase them out of their of the land um, due to uh, you know what happened during the war that um, the people the, the main owner of the land was chased out whereby the Ikwere people took over all the properties. So the, the question of my brother here is the fear of the Ikwere people and um, according to the, to him, the question that came from the palace that the fear of the Ikwere people was that they would be chased out of their land for, the, uh, for, their, for their evil brothers to take over. The, the same fear that the brothers um, of Joseph had when there was famine in Israel and they went to Egypt, where Joseph became a governor and was doing very well. Did that work out that way? Of course not. We are one blood, one family. Uh, there is, I don't, you know, people have all these um, appendages, uh, he's on all these names. People, I can trace their ancestry. I know where you come from. I know the family where you come from. Is that somebody telling me he's from Asaba? And he's a uh, Niger Delta from Asaba, which is used to be Ahaba. That is the name. We forgive ourselves every blessed day. Everybody made mistakes during that very war. Even before the war, mistakes were made by, from all sides. We are all responsible for what happened. Are we going to dwell on it forever and ever? Of course not. From the constitution of Biafra, it will be spelled out very, very clearly. It was my intention before, and still remains, that if water should be, of course, now Igodomiko is making a very big um, argument for it, should be the capital of Biafra. We will be so busy building and rebuilding. If you, what are the houses we have in water? Have you not seen how Hong Kong is built? Go and get a picture of Singapore and see it. That is the type of. Uh, are, you, are you telling me that we are fighting and dying every day? So to have another useless African country in Biafra, God forbid, we are going to build beautiful houses. There will be no time 
we are going to be so busy working there will be no time for even anybody to think about revenge what's the beauty we have made mistakes during the war are we dead they killed us five million yes we went to the north some people still marry um, um funny people but they are the ones that killed five million of us what did the people some people from the land take it's only house how about those that took life please we are one people and in a new Biafra, from our constitution, you will know there will be no room or space for any of this nonsense. Because, as I told you, go and look at the United Arab Emirates model. You cannot go from Dubai to go to Doha and tell them what to do unless you have somebody from Doha inviting you. Before you go to Ogodilan to invest, Ogodilan. in fact, there are more, you must have a representative who is Ogodilan. That owns part of that business as they're doing today in um, in Dubai. That's what they do. We know what we are doing. There will be no room or space for that. Heaven forbid, because we are all one people. Equally is evil. I can tell you where you come from. If you're lost, I know where Ogoni comes from. Ken Sarawi is we why why you why that is the forget about all these useless discussions. Let me tell him. Yeah. We are one people. Thank you very much. He texts me. Thank you very much, my dear. We also have a question from um, His Royal Majesty God's will, uh, God's power, Oporomo, um, the, 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 the Tara of Eza Kerem Biri um, is asking um, a very uh, simple question here where he says, um, with it says, um, with Biafra speak one language like Igbo language, or will they continue the slave? Uh, will they continue speaking the, 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 the slave language, English? In Biafra land, we are going to every parliament. Let me repeat, people should listen to me very carefully, please. Every nationality, I will give example with Ogoni, for instance. Because or it is on a job. A job will have a job parliament. A job will have a job premier. It is up to a job people to decide which language the uh, legislature will use. For the purposes of running a viable new nation, we'll use English for the first few years. Let we have in CBD. We are going to revive. This is something that people don't know. That before the white man came, many years, even before Britain was formed, we had our own language. We had our own way of writing. It's called in CBD. It united the whole of Biafra together. One language, go and investigate it. It came from a Jagan people of present day Cross River State. The same people, the same family that you have, um, Arochuku, you have Abreba, you have Onhafia, you have it. Um, in fact, the entire band. The same people, the same language, the same code of writing. We will go back to go and develop it. And then we are going to appoint top, top linguists from all the clans and nations of Biafra land. We will lock them up somewhere for 10 years to produce a lingua franca. We will then start teaching our children. The same thing that Israel did. The Hebrew you are hearing today is a modern construct. It is not as old as Israel. So this is something we must understand. Everybody, nobody can force anybody. I can't even, the, if I speak Ibeku dialect now, I can assure you that somebody from East Ecuador cannot understand what I'm saying. And we want it to be like that. We want to respect that diversity. We must have a Guni language. We must have um, 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 any of the languages from, from, from Isoko language will be there. Isoko language will be there. It is not going to change. But in terms of lingua franca, and let me tell you, if our children are raised to speak up to three languages, it makes them more intelligent. They will learn the local dialects, regardless of where they come from. They are, if they are from Bini, they will learn if from economic they will learn Bini, Bini language. They will also learn the overall Biafra language that will emerge after 10 years, which will comprise of the language of everybody's language will be in it, this lingua franca. And finally, they will learn English language that will then use to get us there because the whole world, as I said, the civilized world speaks English. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you very much. Thank you, my leader. 
Um, quickly, uh, before the mic will be passed back to the uh, moderator, uh, we quickly want us to quickly um, welcome um, Elder um, Pereke. Please, um, Elder, can you unmute yourself, sir? Can you unmute yourself, my Elder? Can you hear me? Elder, can you hear me? Okay, let me quickly go back to um, uh, my moderators. Uh, please bring in other people. In Mete Asawa, um, I would like to bring in the next speaker. Um, uh, I believe Mr. Julius. Mr. Julius, can you um, you unmute yourself and ask your question? Thank you very much. Greetings. Hello. Greetings all over the world. Yeah, go ahead, sir. We can Hello. hear you. You can ask your question. Greetings all over the world. My question is, uh, what is the guarantee of the Bafran? And uh, the, the, the guarantee of the safety of the Bafrans, the safety of the Bafrans, that is my question. Safety in which aspect, please? Yeah, yeah, uh, Julius, please, I'll, I'll, I would like you to make it very you know, clear so that we, our leader will know where to handle your question. What are the guarantee of the safety of the Biafrans? In which aspect? Hello, what I'm asking, if the Biafran comes, the, the safety of the people is what I'm asking for, because for now, uh, the, the, the Northerners, it's like they are taking over everywhere. Then when people have that interest of say this thing will come, what is their guarantee? Of course, our leader is here to answer your question. Um, uh, I, I believe he, he heard you well and clear. Majita, please put our leader on the screen. Thank you. Um, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, my, my leader, um, according to the question um, of um, um, Elder Julius um, Chukunyem, he was asking that what um, will be the set, or should I say, um, what is the assurance for Biafra safety? Because right now, um, the full animal have a that what will be, what is our safety as we speak? Uh, is he having doubts that Biafra may not come as a result of the presence of Fulani terrorists in our force? Sorry, sir, if I may quickly, if I may quickly add this, uh, because I have a very similar question from uh, His Royal Majesty, um, um, Pap I, uh, Pap Papio, uh, yeah. So I am having a question similar to that, and um, the, the the fear was that some people are still afraid that uh, maybe Biafra is not going to make it, or that is exactly what this Royal Majesty is saying. And in his question, he also asked, they want to, they want uh, the presence of uh, the representative of IPOB to come to his kingdom that they, they have a strong and um, 
um, um, um, agile youth, both men and women, who are ready to die for, for the freedom of their people. Then you speak to, um, uh, I'm sure the, His Royal Majesty is listening to me. Um, pass the details of, of His Royal Majesty to my secretary, and I will make such arrangements. I don't want anybody to have any doubt. The reason why Biafra is not here is because we are not united. If it be your ethic, everybody from, from Ogoja all the way to, to, to Kalabari, we have to be together. How can Fulani stop us? We are the ones holding ourselves. We are the ones stopping ourselves from becoming free. Once we are united, they can't do anything. But we, we start this process, somebody goes, collects money from the back, goes behind the village, gets a snap for them, goes to newspaper and starts to talk. Anyhow, and then the whole thing collapses. If we are united, nobody, nobody can stop. Nobody can. We don't even need to wait for, for up to four weeks. I'm just, can you imagine if we're all united from Igodomi go all the way to Bakasi? Who will stop us? Who is the person that will stop us? No force on us. So we are the ones holding ourselves. And Biafra is going to come. And I'm going to send people high level uh, uh, emissary to his royal majesty so that we can take it on from there. But Biafra is coming. It doesn't matter what we do. God has ordained it and it is coming. Thank you. Thank you very much, my leader. Thank you very much. Um, I think um, I should quickly pass to the um, um, co moderators. Please, you have to put the mic out. Uh, Imiata Asawo for taking that question from His Royal Highness. Um, I'd like to call on uh, Mr. Tenny to give his own question so we can we can get this along because there are other grassroots questions that we need to ask so mr tenny can you um, unmute yourself and ask your own question thank you very much sorry i think mr tenny just left the network from the zoo is very disturbing so uh, <laughs> as we all know that they are complaining some cannot even um, log into the app so it is um and this this very app is a very simple one whereby it don't um, disturb concerning network. So um, I believe um, the network is very is very disturbing. So I would rather say let us go to um, um comrade Oyedike. Please um, let comrade Oyedike take the mic before the other people comes in. Okay, um, Comrade Oyedeke, can you um, can you unmute yourself and um, ask your question? Thank you very much, sir. Asawa, if he's um, if uh, Mr. Ogunda is not with us, we can move our head to. The grass well, you can write the question. You can write the question as a text. Yes, or you can write down the question in a private chat, and we can get this out. Um, I would like to take the next question. Um, this is, I believe, is from the query part. They said, "Will Equerry and Anioma be part of the Allied Bo Nation if um, in Biafra, or will they be their own separate states?" Um, my leader. So yeah, this is to you. Will Ikwere and Anioma be part of the Allied nation in Biafra, or will they be their own separate states? Uh, it is something that they, they, they so right now they'll be separate, and then it's for their legislature to decide what they do after that. The people will decide if they want to be the part of the wider Igbo family, Igbo nation, or they want to be alone. But I, what I find very, anyway, we have crossed that. The referendum will be done on the basis of Anioma. We will treat Anioma as a separate entity. You put it the same thing. Then they decide for themselves what they want to do. We don't want to have anybody accuse anybody of feasibly, uh, um, uh, you know, inducting them into something they're not aware of. Because mm -hmm. Biafra is going to be a land of democracy. Oh, yeah. We are going to ask the people, do you want to be part? Do you want to be on your own? Do you want to be part of... Um, of um, Igbo nation, yes or no? Simple. 
and you money something, yes or no? And then the, the majority will carry the vote. What do I want? I want all Igbo people to be together. All Igbo people to be together. In fact, I want Efi and the BBA because they're the same people to be one. I will prefer a situation whereby Igede and the Doma are one. If they want to be separate, fine. If they want to be one, fine. Nobody's forcing anybody. But for the purposes of our referendum, and Yama will be treated will be treated as a separate entity. So also will require them they decide where they want to be. If they want to be a separate nation, wonderful. They want to be part of the Igbo nation, also wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, one more question before I bring in our brother Tenny. This is also from the grassroots. It's about um, our choice, or rather, can I say the choice for using a gemma as the currency? So um, the grassroots, they are, they are curious as to why a gemma um, as the currency for Biafra? Imete Soye. Gemma is the currency because that was the currency of Biafra used everywhere if you go to i think is it a bomb or cross a bomb if you go to the logo of a bomb state you will see a gemma there so it was used widely it is not it is not it's not a new currency it is a biafran currency and as i have said before and i'll have this debate with anybody anywhere any day everybody in the current east and um their so-called midwest uh, all Igbo people, I can prove it to you with facts and figures. The thing is that the foreigners did a lot of work on us. I don't know, it's, no, it was started by the British. And because the Igbo people never want on any conquest of anywhere. The reason why Yoruba is won was because the uh, people of Oyo left Oyo and conquered the Jebu people, conquered um, uh, uh, Alajans that made them speak one language on Yoruba in the north. The house has conquered other people to make them speak house language. The reason why we're having this debate in the East is because the Igbo people never actually conquered anybody. And I find it quite funny that those that went on conquest and conquered other people are saying to people who did not conquer anybody that they are the ones who are domineering. It's, it's just like the, the like bombing or when bandits are in Zamfara. It's exactly the same thing. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. A gemma was used across the entire East because we are one people. The people you have today in Azon, in Ajoland, are people that came from Arochubu. Everybody is the same. And I, I keep saying to people, why don't we read? Why don't we just go to the library and Google something and start reading a book? Go and read a book. When the white man came, a white man could not distinguish between an Igbo man and an Ibibio man could not distinguish between an Igbo man and somebody from Anan. If you go to Google now, the, you write in a video, the first two things you will see is Igbo, related to Igbo. You put in a job, a job, and you put in a job in Google now, do it, it's for a simple experiment. The next thing you will see, a job related to Igbo. Yet we keep having this debate because the foreigners have conditioned us to hate ourselves. And that is why we are all suffering and it must come to an end. Thank you. I so you for that um, brilliant answer. I would like to bring in um, mm. Mr. Tenny. Mr. Tenny, please, can you come in and ask your question? You've got three minutes. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I'm DK1, our great leader. I'm very happy to be in this, uh, in this forum. I'm from uh, Okwani in Delta State. My name is Onya Ogochuku. Uh, I'm from a uh, native of uh, Ashaka and Abe combined together in the same Okwani. And we, in Okwa. Can you re, can you ask your question? Yes, yes, yes. But before I go straight, uh, because uh, I have to introduce myself because my question goes by by my by my by my clan. Because we the we the Okwani people, I'm a coordinator here in France. We the Okwani people I used to speak to many of my people there, many of the union. Why are you people not supporting the Biafran struggle? I know we have a lot of people, but we still need a, a, a lot of the grassroots. But the, 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 they always tell me one thing, that in Biafran map, in Biafran map, we don't have Okwani as, as a class or as a state. 
or anything there. All what they have is Agbo, and they have a uh, and we don't have anything Okwane. So how can we leave uh, Nigeria and go to Biafra where, where, where our identity will be lost? I tell them that no, with Biafra, we can still represent our own nationality, which is Okwane people. Now they turn it to Kwale. But we are Okwane. That is my question, our Supreme Leader. Thank you, Mr. Oh, Tani. I'm sure um, our leader will answer your question in a moment. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear, sir. Well, I said that Okwan is just like somebody saying that Ungwa is a nation. This is a, is a clan. Okwan is a clan. The maps you are seeing are the maps of provincial district headquarters like Asaba, like Harbo. Even if you're flying on a, it's a good thing you're in France, even if you're flying on a jet, on a jet plane, and you see the map come up on the screen, about, they only put the names of places they feel that people know that are very prominent, say, administrative headquarters, where people are used to. It doesn't uh, disregard any other place. Ukwan is a clan. It is not a nation. And in this new Biafra, as I said before, everybody has a representation. Are people having fun in Nigeria? Why would even anybody, I would say, give me anything else apart from Nigeria, if I'm a human being. Why would even anybody, come Fulani are in your villages killing you, massacring you, taking your land, and you're still even contemplating if you are to leave that you hopeless zoo or not? I find it shocking. Our people, they, they, they astonish me sometimes. Go and tell Ukwane people. Not Kwale, not Ibusa. It is Ibo Binozo, Ibo Binozo, Ibo Uzo, Ibo Binozo, Ukwane, Ukwane, not Kwale, all Ibo. I don't know. We are the only people that hate ourselves, and I don't know what is wrong with us. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know who did this thing. I don't know the type of concussion Fulani mixed up and gave to us. I don't know. If by separating yourself from your people, how can you survive as a race? How can you survive, I'm asking you? The same thing, the same mistake will be made. Remove yourself from the Afra. When they came for cancer, we were nobody said anything and he was killed. Divide and rule. Why must we, it's only us that allow ourselves to be divided by outsiders. Can you from Ukwane go to Fulani and divide them? What is wrong with us? Oh dear me. Please, the next question. Yeah, we, we move to the next question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We have um, comrade, um, my boy in the house, please. Uh, I'm going to give him the, the mic um, to speak and introduce himself. Why we wait for our leader? Can you hear me, Comrade Mabo? I think we move to the next person if it's having to know with the uh, EFT. So maybe probably to remove it. Can you hear me? Yeah, we yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Um, Adam, you can go ahead. Okay, I'm just joining you guys now. But I was waiting for uh, my brother on Ajiti to, uh, before he said it's 8 o'clock, that was the time they are going to start the program. But I was waiting before and uh, Letter before he now said I should come alive. So it is good that I will still be at the queue, let you guys are discussing before I will contribute whatever thing I have to contribute. Thank you. Um, thank you, but um, uh, we're hoping that that's because this is your spot. So if you've got any question, our leader is right here with us. Uh, any concerns at all? You can ask so that he can answer you. 
thank you very much yeah thank you uh for me um first of, first of all my name is ekron with adam um i'm the chairman in georgia council iyc abuja um i think the question i could have asked let me hear from the discussion and let me also know the to the topic we are discussing about that can also prompt me to ask questions because i just come in i don't know what they are discussing for now so i let me just that's why i said let me still be on the queue to listen carefully about the discussion before i can contribute and also ask my question thank you but i'm here don't go anywhere ask your question i'm here the land was disturbing go ahead I believe uh, come in my boy you can go ahead and ask your question there's no ask your question i'm here the, the, the line is um what's is, is disturbing a bit go ahead the the question your people are asking the leadership of ipob and as you can see he's here with us so please um what are the questions or what are the things you have in mind to ask concerning the resurrection okay thank you um first of all uh i want to first of all to commend the people of biafra for the agitation and like uh, uh my brother onaziti who always knows about me that we we always say that we are not part of Biafra. And whenever we say we are not part of Biafra, we have a reason. But sometimes, because everybody have right for his, his or our own opinion based on the reason where you understand to. And I believe, thank God, that uh, uh, our brother in the county is here. The question I want to ask is that this. Biafra, which you can try. Okay, so now you know we, so people like us, we believe in a joint nation, a joint nation, and Niger Delta. And the contradiction there is some are say they are Biafra, some are say they are Niger Delta. But when you look at all of all, we, we still belong to the same south south geopolitical zone and southeast geopolitical zone and the southwest geopolitical zone the question i want to ask my brother is that when you talk about biafra and i, I listened to my brother and uh, our brother also as i the Kubo, when issues between them were going on about this biafra because in every uh, agitation there are leaders and leaders also cut across from different ethnic nationality. And we also know that we have the Southeast, we have the South South. We are from the South South, precisely from Delta State. And it's job by tribe. And uh, the question I want to ask is that the Biafra, which is always sound Bia and Fra, this is where some issues come about. Where does this connotation come from? And who are the people behind this Biafra? That is the first question I want to first ask before I ask other questions again. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. You, 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 you said you are South South, so you accept the, the tag of being from South South and Niger Delta, uh, two names that have no meaning. There is nowhere in this world, in any geography textbook, where you can see South South. Uh, there is a river called River Nile that runs into the Mediterranean Sea in Alexandria in Egypt. That place is called the Delta region of the Nile. The Mississippi River also has a delta. So what I'm trying to get across to you, my dear brother, is that the name Delta has no meaning. It is, it is only a name answered by people who are not sure of who they are, people who are confused. 
And the Eastern nation is not a confused nation. If you say Eastern nation, I will listen to you. If you say Ijo nation, I would listen to you. But that um, concoction of South South or Niger Delta doesn't work with me because only people who are not sure of who they are will ask for Niger Delta or South South because South South doesn't exist. It was a mere concoction by Dr. Alex Ekweme, which they agreed to. So why don't you have North North? Where is West West or East East? You and I have more in common than a Fulani man and a Hausa man living in Sokoto. But I give it to you. You want to be alone. You want to divide. I, I concede. I'm a Democrat. I don't care where we want to stay. But coming to your question, the man that you should have that should have answered this question is, oh, is an Ijo man, Franco Pigo. And when he came up with the name Biafra, the people were confused. But God did one thing that was miraculous. Ujuku did not argue with the name. The name came from an Ijo man, which means that Ijo wants Biafra more than anybody else. But I'll tell you where the name comes from, and I'll give you three names. And I want you to bear one thing in mind. I'm from a place called Afara. Afara. If you put B-I in front of it, which means come, it comes Biafra. Afra means the land of the people who we are joined together. If you go through your history books from the beginning, I, I restart, I went back to the beginning. I don't start from the middle. Where we are called Biafra, denoting our march through the Afra region of Ethiopia for the final wave that came. Those that settled around a place called Ethiop River. That's how the name came about. You have Ethiop River. Even in Delta State, the deepest river in West Africa is in the Nidal of Africa. Our name was first to be. People still talk about Portuguese. I said they don't know what I'm talking about. Biafra. Biafra. And they shortened to Biafra. All the maps have all these names. And this Biafra used to be a kingdom. A kingdom under God. Almighty in heaven, not by man, by God in heaven. And when I was preaching this afternoon, I said to you people that there are some things about Biafra that, that people don't know. The white man knows about you more than you know yourself. That is why the white man doesn't want Biafra to come. It means come and join. Biafra means come and join. That is our name, not given to us by the Portuguese. Because if you look at the history of Biafra, the first name was Biafra. Second name was Biafra. Some called it Biafra, yes. And then lastly, it was Biafra. Go and check it very well. And I will conclude by referring you to the to the scriptures, the Bible, where it was said that my daughters from across the rivers of Ethiopia will bring gifts to my temple. So says the Lord of hosts. And if you go to the map of, I think it was um, 1368, it is there. Biafra, the very first map, to recognize our sojourn through the Afar region of Ethiopia. And then the same God that we worship said, you will come from beyond. He did not say inside Ethiopia. They will come from beyond Ethiopia to come to worship God. And that is the land of Biafra. Geographically, politically, spiritually, we know what we're talking about. There's only those who are blind in this place who cannot see it. And they have, I've led, uh, no wonder Facebook shut down my, my old um, um, account. You have, go to, I, it was laid out in black and white so that you can see the journey is taken. Only, only, for only a job people. We are educated enough to know what our name was. A job, the same place you come from. If your ancestors, your forefathers, uh, they are telling you you are from Biafra. Who are you to say you are from Niger Delta? What is your proof? And I've already proven to you that Niger Delta, my dear brother, has no name. Niger means nigger, black, awful, absurd, ridiculous. In French, it's called Niger. In in um in um in Latin it's called nigger. You're telling me you're from nigger delta. That is very shameful indeed. But I'm sure and I do hope that you will go back and do your research and come up with a far more credible name. And I repeat again and again and again, a John Nation came from our people. Ask Ankyo Briggs. Ask Asari Dokubo. Ask them. 
And Father the Kobo, do you have Arotuku blood inside you or not? And your bridge, do you have Arotuku blood in you or not? And I will get, I'll go a little bit for people want to know history because Fulani came and confused all of us, Britain before them. There is a place called Omadolu in the land. Omadolu, the only place where a land is named after a woman. Land in Igbo nomenclature do, is not, can never be named after a woman. Do you know why they were called Omadolu? She was the only survivor when they stopped slave trade. She founded that very community. Now you understand, we have our history, we have all the facts intact. It's only that people don't want to learn because of what they, they The same way that Fulani deceived the Yoruba people is what some of you are falling for today. Fulani have been deceiving you from time, you don't want to learn. They deceive you, you don't want to learn. Now they have brought Janjaburi to your village. For your information, these are the things that people do not understand about our history, who we are. We are one people. I said one people, not two, not three, not four. One. And all the days of my life, I will preach. Why? I am related to you by blood, not by religion, not by conquest. I said by blood, by DNA. And that's what we're fighting for. Not fighting for it so that we can be one and uh, one monolithic prayer friend. No, 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 no. You'll be on your own. I'll be on my own. As Lord and Abraham did. Be on your own, I'll be on my own. But I'm telling you that together we can stop the Fulani from coming to take our land. By then they can do whatever they like. That is why Ogun hasn't been cleaned up. That is why they can kill some cancer and get away with it. Because we are divided. The sooner we reason, the better for all of us. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Yeah, I... Thank you very much, uh, my leader. Okay, I think, um, um, Comrade Dudu, you want to take the mic, please? Um, kindly do. Yeah, I was thinking with the brother Ugomugo, if I'm right, Francis, sorry if I didn't pronounce it very well. I thought he has two questions, so I thought uh, maybe he should finish the second one, if uh, I'm right. Thank you very much. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. It's unmute. Unmute. Comrade Mabo, please um, unmute. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I want to thank uh, our brother, Enab the Kanu. Uh, the, the last statement he made that uh, so pleased my heart is that he said, everybody will be on their own. I love that statement. And if everybody will be on their own, if some persons observe this Biafra struggle as specifically, specifically as an evil struggle, let me say send to you guys. Some people view it as an evil struggle. Most especially because he said the name was first connected by a German. The Biafra name was first connected by German, based on what he stated there. Now, if our brother can say that everybody can stay on a horn, can we fight a struggle through abusing one another, through accusing one another, without having a roundtable discussion? That is my second question. And it's a very good question. We can have a struggle. The answer to your question is that we can have a struggle without the rank, without the abuse, without fighting, and with a round table. And I'm going to tell this very forum today here. I don't know how many people are watching all over the world. Uh, what I've never said before. The person who was prominent from the coastal region of Biafra when we were beginning is Asari Dokubwa. Ask Asari Dokubwa, did I send representation to him before, did we sit around the table before to discuss this or not? Write it down so you can ask and come back to me, ask him, did I send people to him? How many times did I send people to him to agree all of these things? Did we agree or not? Did I, who insulted each other first? 
I want you to write it down. Who insulted each other? Did, did I go out to insult anybody? If you insult, Biafra will insult you. If you come out with a half-baked uh, um, theory about the origin of any clan in Biafra land, I will correct you if you want to be corrected. I studied Biafra for close to 18 years before coming out. I studied the Igbo race for 15 years. I studied Biafra for three years. Full-time course, I did. I taught myself. Anywhere the person is coming from, I will tell you where you come from, where you are born, where your ancestors come from. I have all the facts and figures. The thing is that we don't want to accept the truth. Everybody will be on their own. And I will remind you of what I said before, that people don't want to reason or think about it. Uh, any of the other clans in Biafra land, in fact, what is Igbo to start with? So, uh, Igbo, Igbo people, Igbo, who is Igbo? Let me ask you, sir. Who are the Igbo people? I am from Omaha. If somebody from Osaka is talking, can I understand what he or she is saying? If I speak, can they understand me? People don't know. They, 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 they people come out with things they don't know. They know little or nothing. And when you want to educate them, they don't want to educate it. And you ask them to bring out the facts you have, and you see they're very shallow and meaningless. The fact that you speak a different language or dialect doesn't mean uh, we are not the same people. I'm asking you, why, if we are not the same people, why do we have you? You, if we, if we, you run with the argument of Niger Delta and South South, that means that um, Akwaibom is part of South South, yes, and Akwaibom is part of Niger Delta, isn't it? Yes, we agree. That's that's what the zoo tells us. But in Egypt, do you have a conquer in Egypt? Do you have a in Egypt? Do you have um, a can a can in Egypt? Is there any language of Ibibio or Afik that you speak in Nigerland? I want to prove to you the foolishness of Nigeria and those who believe in Nigeria. And so I say it open. If you consider it an insult, then so be it. But I'm giving you facts and figures. Is there any language, is there any word in Ibibio language, in Anang language, in Afik that you can speak in Nigerland? Don't you understand? Are you in the same fraternity? Because Okonko is not from Anang. Okonko is in um is in uh, uh is in Ibibio. Okonko is in Efik. Okonko is in is in is in Abia State. Okonko is in Abreba, is in Arochuku, is in all my heads, the whole the whole of Bende. Do you have Okonko in a job? Then how can you be in South South? How can you be in Niger Delta? Do you see the foolishness of the reasoning of some people? We are all one people. There will be no rancor, no distress, if not for the, what I call, I don't know what it is. The mission, let, me, let me give you an example. My dear brother, in Israel, the same nonsense that is happening to us happened to Israel. You know, that is why when I look at the similarities and comparisons, it's very, very uncanny. You know, when Israel was, was, was conquered, was one day, when they divided into two kingdoms, Israel divided after the death of Solomon into the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Southern kingdom is Judea and Benjamin. The northern kingdom are the other tribes. They later changed their name to Samaria. The southern part called themselves Judea. That was when the Hittites, that was when the Babylonians, that was when the Romans came and took them over because they were divided. Israel, Israel, Israel was divided. If you don't learn from that, you will never learn from anything else in your life. If you are divided, the enemies will take you. I have told you before and I will repeat, did Igbo people conquer anybody in their history? And nobody conquered them. Because an average Igbo man is a Democrat and a Republican. Doesn't believe he can come to his house to tell him what to do. His house is his castle. And let me ask you one other question. Did you know about, there is nothing like Yoruba before. You had all your empire that expanded and swallowed up Ijebu, the, the, the Ijebu people. Swallowed, swallowed up the Alaje people and all the rest of them. Don't you know that? Were they one, are they one people? They are not. Fulani came and conquered everybody, conquered house, I took their language. Today they are trying to push Fufude. 
the Igbo man do the something to the Igbo man. Instead, an Igbo man had to borrow the culture of Anna. Igbo man in Bende. Let me give, let me use Igbo. Let me use Bende. Bende man had to go to Anna to learn he, to borrow his Okonko and Debe to tell you that we are one people. Anybody who is coming to debate us must be educated. You have to go to school many years over before you come. We are not fighting anyone. What I do is born out of love. I've been to Asari, I've been to Ankil Briggs, I've been to everybody. I was the one that left the United Kingdom to pour the whole of Iwacha, begging and asking our people, let us be one. Maybe by then you were in primary school. This was over 20 years ago that I was doing this. Because I know we are one people. If it, the only day I will stop talking about our unity, any day we do a referendum and the job votes and says, we are not part of this family. If I talk about them again, I will die. Because I want to be able to tell God that these are your children. Uh, if I want, I would have taken five states before and gone when I was in prison. They came to me and said, take Igbo states. And I said, no. Not because I want a John, not because I want a Bibi or no, but I want to ask them, do you want to be here or not? With what is happening in Oguni, can't you teach people some lesson? Please, we are one people. Until you say otherwise in a referendum. You have a vote in a referendum. One man, one vote. You vote. And then after the whole thing, we count it. If you say you don't want to be part of the affair, I will say goodbye. Then you see what Fulani will do to you. By the time they are finished with you, how will be better than you? Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Give it a story for the answer. Um, as our GJ, can we move over to um, our comrades from the house? Because uh, I believe they please. have what to tell um, our yeah, leader. Thank you very much. Please, um, I think um, time is not more in our side because we have used our time and we have used more than our time. So I think um, it is, it is um, the right time, of course. Um, the, we, we, uh, of course, I believe our leader, we create um, um, the space to discuss with all the traditional rulers who have left um, due to uh, schedule who, due to schedule who have left um, the program because we are expecting a lot of them in this very in this very program because most of them actually bet for this program and um, of course we truly appreciate our leader Mazinam the Kano, the light of Africa uh, for giving them the privilege to discuss and of course as we can see he is a man of honor. And, um, of course, um, he is not loving it over anyone. He is just only make, trying to tell us, or should I say, trying to make us reason as human that we are. Our leader will be catching a flight, which I believe um, we have to let him go. Please, um, comrade, uh, we use this opportunity to um, introduce to you my leader, uh, the, 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 the co-convener of this very program, the likes of um, the likes of uh, Idudu of Yemuno, the likes of um, 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 my sister Ta uh, Tamuno Toye, the likes of um, Ogenemaro or Lisa Donat, and Efewanogo, um, Fetugala, and uh, including our mother, Madame Erewa, and um, some of our prominent Isoko leaders who has uh, who do not have the opportunity to partake in this very program tonight and of course um the traditional rulers have also said uh, they would like to have a more private meeting with you sir so this um is just to show their solidarity with you my leader to show to you that of course um no one can speak for them either those who have come before them either those who are still parading themselves are the speaker of the people that they have now stood up to speak for themselves and they are ready to bring out the children the sons and daughters the able sons and daughters 
of every clan, or should I say, every ethnic city in the, the in the River Rhine area, to make sure that we be a partaker of this very great uh, mission to restore the land that truly belongs to us, because they have also understand and agree that, of course, we are not associating with Biafra, but we are Biafra by birth. So I will quickly use this opportunity to give my comrade um, the opportunity to say thank you to you, Mazen Namdekano. Kidudu, please take the mic for a minute while it goes around like that. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, once again, my name is Kidudu Bimuno, uh, and it's about Biafra. Uh, I want to use the opportunity to say thank you for our leader. We have really, you know, uh, you know, you know taking a lot of his time. And uh, we thank you for his patience and uh, you know, the dedication to also listening to give us a listening ear. I say thank you, sir. Mazina de Kano. Thank you very much. And I thank all of you, all of you, all of you, every each and every one of you for this very unique um, um, opportunity given to me to address all of us here today gathered. We are one family, one people. We live apart from each other. We speak different languages and different dialects, but our DNA says that we are one people. Let us go and become free people as one, then we do to your tents, O Israel. That's what we want to do, because everybody will be on their own. It is the way we are wired, and that is what is going to happen. I thank all of you once again, and continue the good work that all of you are doing. I value it immensely. And we'll be having, should I say, private conversations as time goes on. Uh, but from me, from here, with all the love in my heart and the peace of God that I pray upon each and every one of you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Soye. Good evening, sir. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. My uh, Honorable Secretary, thank you very much, Uche Na uh, Okora. We say thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Um, we appreciate every one of you who have been the partaker of this very great uh, mission, Lord. Uh, very great gathering. And um, I believe, um, um, of course, our leader is not here, but he's still here with us. I don't know, maybe any of my comrades. I have one or two things to say. Yeah, 